Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. In this video we are looking at Cheeto Morpha and why you're probably not growing it very well in your reef aquarium, probably your refugium or sump. Lots of people underestimate this macroalgae and uh, I'm here to clear some things up. And yes, I call it Cheeto or Cheeto Morpha. And the reason for that is I'm English. You may pronounce it as Kaito or Keto, but I pronounce it as Cheeto. You know the phrase, I call it Cheeto, you call it Keto, um, and that's how the whole thing goes, or something like that. Basically, that's why I call it Keto. Oh no, I just call it, ugh. that's why I call it Cheeto. Who even knows anymore? So basically, on the market, if you're looking for Cheeto Morpha, you will most likely be looking for it because you have some issues of algae in your reef tank and you want to stick some in your refugium to suck out a lot of nitrates and phosphates and other things that are causing the pest algae within your system. But it is a very misunderstood algae. Lots of people think all you have to do with it is just get some, stick it somewhere and it will grow like stink and solve all your problems. But actually this can be quite far from the truth in quite a lot of cases. I do tend to peruse aquarium and reef forums and there are lots of posts asking why my Cheeto isn't growing, why my Cheeto has gone white and other things like this. Um, and I'm just going to answer some of these questions and give you some solutions as to how to grow this properly. As you can see this tank here is just a mess of macroalgae there's nothing particularly special about it it's just where i keep my overflow and um, cheetos got in there and it's thriving now you may or may not know that there's actually more than one type of cheeto in existence when everyone thinks about cheeto you just think of a green strandy kind of seaweed but there's more than one and often they're confused and misidentified and not really acknowledged this is the first one you'll probably come across. And this is a really fine Cheeto. It's really flexible, it's really wiry. Um, this one is Cheeto Morpha Linum, or possibly something else that's very similar to Linum. Um, but it's a really fine one. This is the one I recommend because it's very, very flexible and easy to handle. The other one is a lot thicker. This is Cheeto Morpha Spiralis. It's a lot thicker. It's more like a wire and it's a lot more brittle. It breaks a lot easier. And although there's no real difference in terms of growth rate, it doesn't really matter which one you have, but actually I just find this one a bit more harder to handle just because it's a little bit more brittle. Um, but that's it really, it doesn't matter which one you get. But just so you know, there's more than one. Who knew? Here's a slightly better view. So this one is the really fine um, Cheeto. This is the Cheeto Linum. And then that one is the thicker grade stuff. You can see how much more wiry it is. And that's the spiralis. So the first problem you can have with Cheeto Morpha is not giving it enough light. Here's what people say about Cheeto Morpha. Oh yeah, mate, you just go down the shop, you buy the cheapest bulb you can find and then you put it in your refugium and your Cheeto will grow really well, mate. Absolutely untrue. You need good lighting to grow Cheeto. Okay, Cheeto will grow with a candle above it. However, it defeats the point. You're adding Cheeto Morpha because you want it to grow fast. And you want it to grow fast so that it takes out all of the nasties from your fish tank, from your main reef tank. And then why would you go and put the rubbish light over the top of it? Why would you not treat your Cheeto like a king? So that actually it can grow as fast as possible and when it grows fast, it will take out the nitrates and phosphates. You are making life hard for yourself by putting a terrible light over your Cheeto Morpha. But it's the most common thing I see on all of the forums when it comes to growing Cheeto Morpha. People recommend other people 10 pound lights, five pound lights. Oh yeah, just take the light out of your bedside lamp, stick it over the Cheeto and away you go, okay it will probably grow. Cheeto can grow almost in the dark. In fact, I've got Cheeto in this area of my tank here and there's no light over it, that area. It doesn't get anything. It gets no light whatsoever, but it's growing. However, 
what does that actually do? Nothing, because it grows so slowly. You want it to grow fast. And that is down to your lighting. So please spend a bit of money on a light for your refugium. Put your Cheeto under it. There's so many good lights out there nowadays. And they don't have to cost a lot of money. Okay, there are bespoke refugium light that companies like Kessler are bringing out. They bring out 200 pound lights just for growing refugium macroalgae. And if you can do that, then you crack on because it will be the best light you can get. Um, they're the pink ones, by the way. But you don't have to spend 200 pounds. Even if you just bought a semi-decent reef spectrum light for about 50 quid, that will do so much better than the spotlights that you can get on eBay for 14.99. The next kind of most common issue is the fact that you can get a really good growth spurt from your Cheeto. So you've set it up, you've actually put a semi-decent light on your refugium and you add your Cheeto, it doubles or triples in size and then it just stops. And this is very, very common and it's because people don't actually realise that Cheeto is a living organism. It requires all the same things that other living organisms need. And if it has those things, then it will grow. If it doesn't have those things, then it will stop growing. Now, I do understand that a lot of people will just put this in the refugium and forget about it, but you invest a lot of knowledge into keeping corals. And most people who are keeping corals are using the Cheeto. So there's kind of an overlap there. And you learn a lot about corals and then you add your Cheeto and you just don't bother to learn anything about the Cheeto, but you need to. So Cheeto has very, very similar needs to pretty much all green plants. So you need light and you need water. Luckily it's in water. And you also need nutrients. So nutrients are something that tends to run out eventually for the Cheeto. And this is where a lot of the problems come in when the Cheeto stops growing. And that is why I will show you what I do. I grow macroalgae uh, commercially on a small scale. And because of that, all of my tanks are full of macroalgae. You can see there's lots of different types of macroalgae. And these suck out nutrients at an alarming rate. If I didn't replace the nutrients via water changes and dosing, then the algae wouldn't grow. And it's very similar to the Cheeto in your effusion. You have employed the Cheeto to remove your nitrates and phosphates, but as it grows, it will remove other things as well. There's all sorts of stuff, just like a coral, it will suck out things to grow. So the two main things that your Cheeto will really benefit from, firstly is iron. This is one of the ones that tends to run out a lot of the time in a tank where you don't dose anything. And this is probably one of the biggest things that will contribute to your Cheeto growing really well. I just basically make a liquid fertilizer from powder, but you can buy pre-made liquid fertilizers. The ones that are for freshwater plants do perfectly well. And I just dose iron once a week and it keeps your green macroalgae nice and green, growing very happily. But I also dose um, ammonium nitrate, you can see that. And that's because my systems suck out the nitrate. And it does sound a bit weird, doesn't it? Because you've added the Cheeto to remove the nitrate and the phosphate, but actually the way that um, Cheeto works is it needs nitrate and phosphate to grow. And sometimes as well, if you have lots of phosphate and absolutely no nitrate, the Cheeto won't be able to suck out any more phosphate. It needs nitrate in a certain ratio to phosphate to be able to grow properly. So if you're at a situation where you've got high phosphates and no nitrates, you will actually need to add nitrate to your tank so that the Cheeto can grow and then start to remove the phosphate. So it is actually a lot more complicated than it might seem. As well as these two things, there are pre-made uh, trace element fertilizers you can add. A lot of them are actually just freshwater ones. Most of the freshwater plant fertilizers are suitable for marine tanks. You just gotta watch out that they don't contain copper because a lot of them will. There are things like Brightwell Cheeto Grow, um, which are basically trace element fertilizers. Add them once a week or so and you will be happy and your Cheeto will be happy. Another thing I recommend giving your Cheeto is a decent flow. Now in a sump, you're probably gonna have a good amount of flow anyway as the water passes through it. But if you have quite a slow moving refugium, then add a power head because 
if you don't have enough flow, you might get something like this, which is just a build up of like diatoms and just rubbish on it. The reason this has happened in here is because this pump got blocked. I didn't clean it essentially. Um, and it stopped working very well and the diatoms and the rubbish just started building up on it. And if things are growing on your Cheeto, it will block out a lot of the light and the Cheeto will be stunted by that. Since fixing my flow issue in this tank, hey look, these are getting horny. Horny bang guys. That's the reason for this tank by the way, to try and get these guys to breed. I got one baby out of them, um, but I think they ate it. So next time, hopefully better luck. Anyway, flow is really key. And also the more flow you have, the more nutrients will pass by the Cheeto and the more it can remove from your system. So win-win really. And that's a win for horny bang guys everywhere. So thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, it's just a quickie really, uh, not very formal video on how to grow your Cheeto Morpher in your reef tank or in your refugium, but probably in your refugium. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Thanks very much for watching and happy fish keeping.